Okay, so the original PlayStation 3 came out in 2006. Uh, this is the Super Slim, which came out in 2012. I've got a separate video on PS3 showing all the motion games, so with these motion controllers and the camera, and uh, lots of really, really good games on there in the era of sort of Kinect and Wii, uh, so the motion control games, which is a part of gaming I really like. Uh, I've also got a couple of normal games, so I've got Uncharted 2, which is incredible. Uh, really, really good game. And a game that I've still not played, which is The Last of Us. Obviously, Netflix are doing a series at the moment and it's getting a lot of high profile. Maybe I should play the PS4 version, although I don't have a PS4. But the reason for this video is that I've got PS3 working on my M1 Mac. This is the original M1 series Mac, just the basic Air version. And this is from 2020. So let's have a look at it. Now, unfortunately, The Last of Us isn't supported by the simulator at this time. If you go into the compatibility page, if I scroll down and go for The Last of Us, it says in-game, which means games that either can't be finished, have serious glitches, or have insufficient performance. Same for Uncharted. You can see that none of the games are fully playable. But there are some games that play fine. Uh, so if I click on RPCS3, you can see I've got some games in here. Let's go a bit larger with this. And uh, let's play a bit of GTA San Andreas. And this game works and looks really good on this, but it is worth saying that this is originally a PS2 version and it was optimized for PS3. So that's probably one of the reasons it works so well. And I think the graphics look great on this. So even though it's an older game, I think it looks amazing. It's very smooth, really nice to play just does everything as you would expect it to do. And I played this for quite some time and really enjoyed it. You can see if I jump in a car, see all the reflections on the windscreen and everything. Let's have a little burn around. And I am screen capturing at the moment, so performance would be better if I wasn't screen capturing. Um, but uh, I tried it with my screen capture device and it didn't like the resolution. It wouldn't, wouldn't let me do it. But uh, yeah, so I played this a lot and was really, really happy with the sound on it and everything else. Everything worked as I'd expected. So if we stop that and quit out. Now it did try various other games. Uh, well, this is Handball. The reason I downloaded this was because it was one of the smallest games to be able to download when I was initially trying it out. Oh, and actually, uh, I need to come out of that because I've been messing around with the settings to try and optimize certain games. So if you right click, you can do boot with default configuration. There are some games which have uh, optimized files which you can use uh, if they're supported, it will allow you to, to launch it with that and it can make a huge difference to the gameplay on it. But this game plays absolutely fine on it. I'm sure it's a very easy game to run. But it looks alright. So you can see, and I don't really know the game. Oh, did I just score? How did I score that? I usually don't score on this. Oh, long shot. But you can see that it seems to be working fine. Uh, again, when I'm not screen capturing, uh, it, it was really good and I was really happy with it. But let's show you the bad side of it. Um, if I quit out of that, because uh, other games, so something like Dirt Showdown, does work and all the menus and everything work, but unfortunately it is too slow. But it's worth checking the site if you want to get a particular game running because you may find that it works all right. It starts off all right, though. It's feeling all right now and looking pretty decent, but there are different times when it really suffers from slow. Well, let's try this jump. Spin around a bit. It's hard to know when it slows down, but there are certain times that it really struggles. Oh. That handbrake? Yeah. So, you know, somewhat playable. And still pretty enjoyable. But, um... But yeah, whether whether it's because a di oh, can't go through there. Whether it's at different times, it just gets hot, and uh, maybe it starts to thermal throttle, which I never really am conscious of my Mac doing. But obviously, this is kind of pushing the limits. You know, this was a powerful machine uh, in its day, and for a laptop to be emulating it is pretty impressive. 
fact, I think that's running better than I've had it running before. Right, let's try a different game. So EA Sports Grand Slam Tennis 2. I hope that this might be all right as it's only a tennis game, but it is pretty slow. I wonder if something like uh, Practice Court might work better. Oh, the audio's gone a bit, a bit poor. Yeah, the audio is awful. And it is slowing down a bit. And this is even without an opponent. So let's stop that. And what have we got? Tournament. Yeah, the audio is very poor on this. Yeah, it's super slow. You can see, might have a chance. So let's quit out of that. So really with PS3, if your game is not that ambitious, you might be all right. As I say, GTA San Andreas, I played that for quite some time, it was brilliant. Um, but uh, I would say you're much better off to stick with PS2 and also GameCube or Wii emulation. And uh, I play a lot of the GameCube emulation, uh, so you can see there's an update here. But let's quit out of that because I know it works. And if I go full screen, Dave Mirror is one of my favorite games of all time. And I do play this quite a lot on various different systems. And it runs absolutely perfectly. Such a great game. Oh, that's not going to end well. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.